Okay, this is uh, part two of the uh, opal volcanic mud video. This is uh, what I got out of that mud. This is after the cleanup. I was looking for another one of these and I found one. A flume halite. It's got some nice color. Violet, blue, green. See that? Okay, I found that. These are pretty rare. I've only found. Let me think. Okay. I've only found. Found this in mud. In a handful of mud. Mmm. Two months ago. And I found this one about two weeks ago. And I found this one about two months ago. It's already in a ring. It's probably this, this case is the smallest one. So, I got this one yesterday. So, here's the collection right here. I might have one or two more. I'm not sure where they're at. Okay, I found this was in mud. The handfuls of mud I was pulling. It was not mud. It's clay. A volcanic clay. It's got this calcite on the bottom. It was probably attached to a concretion, which is a volcanic layer of molten rock that's encased that encases ironstone. This one's nice. It has a little bit of iron in the center. I can get that out. This one this has a lot of color in it. Okay. Yeah. It's really clear. This is the clear stuff. I was talking about in the part one video that you're going to get out of the mud. Some little jimmies are just encased in that mud. You just never know what's in the mud. So I grab as much as of, it, of it as I can and I wash it out. Just really nice stuff. Nice colors in that. Green, purple. 
purple. Blues. So all this stuff was in mud. You just can't see it. I can feel it in the mud. I call it mud, it's volcanic clay. I know it's there, that's why I collect it up. This is just a rinsing of just plain cold water and they come out that clear. They haven't been cleaned. They've been cleaned. Clean. Yeah. So, okay, I'll show you the big pieces now. Here's the big pieces. Nice. This rock, these two rocks were attached like this. So I'm going to bleach these crystals. Should get some of the color. I'll just have to bleach and see how thin they come out. <coughs> Excuse me. This had mud on it. All these pieces had mud. I couldn't clean them off. I could feel something. I mean, that clay was so thick and slippery and brown. I knew something was in there. I could feel it and kind of rub it around and see the, the glass opal coming through. But I'm like, hey, there's something here. I got a this off the mouth. Okay, I'm not finished. Here's the rest of it. This half, from here to here, I got yesterday these over here from last week so half of this was from yesterday so I got a few good pieces Some of this stuff loose. Some of this I leave and sell as specimens.